Alright, here's a, I'm going to post a video about, I have a video out there, it's about Suboxone withdrawal, methadone withdrawal, the differences between the two, and stuff like that, but that's not what I'm going to um, talk about today. I'm going to talk about how much bullshit the methadone program really is. Now, to have a methadone program yourself, all you got to do is have like a half a million dollars, maybe a quarter million. You got to have a doctor that can prescribe methadone. These doctors are allowed to prescribe so many people so much methadone a month per doctor. And then you have to have like a counselor and a counselor can provide counsel or case management to so many clients a month. Just like these recovery houses that are out there. Do you know I do I do inside like investigations on these places. To go to IOP, intensive outpatient treatment, you know each person gets twenty six hundred dollars from the insurance company to go to IOP for one month. So, if I get a house and I got, they offer you free housing if you go to IOP. So, out of this $2,600, they give you housing, which is, that's 150 bucks a week. Say, so, okay, there's $600 out of it. And they got to pay a counselor for a month. There's another, actually, and each one of these counselors is allowed to counsel up to so many people i'm not think if you have one person teaching iop they can do two iop classes and these iop classes are three hours long and i think you can have 40 people in there for one instructor now 40 people times 2600 a month and that that's just ridiculous numbers and these people are stepping back and they're profiting off the demise of their own people. They're they're taking and then okay, let's how many times has anybody went into a methadone program and said, "Hey, I want to go down on my dose." And the people say, "Oh man, that's a good idea. You should go down." Yes, I'm going to put in a thing that you want to go down. That's great, Mr. Serino. You want to go down and I'm happy for you. No, they don't do that. They say, "Hey, we think you are going to relapse. We think you need to go up. Like I said in a, a video before, I've been personally involved with a person that worked at a methadone clinic. And they will come in and they'll tell you, they say, hey, look, if you give out an extra 1,000 milligrams this month, we'll give you a $1,000 bonus. And I mean... That's because the more, it's just like drugs, the more methadone they buy, the more methadone they dispense, the more they got to tell the insurance company to give them, the more they charge the insurance company, the more they put in for their federal grant or their vouchers or whatever they're doing to get this money, you know, and these, and people don't even understand that these are people that used to be junkies and people that are still taking methadone at this time are may are all you got to do is have money money is everything the all these people want out of you is money off of your suffering now yeah truth be told i'm still on the shit i'm still on methadone right now but that's because even in baltimore it's so bad in city jail you will go to city jail and they'll ask you, do you use drugs? All you got to do is say, yeah, I use drugs. And guess what? They give you 30 milligrams of methadone. You know why? Because they're charging the insurance company. It's every time, whatever program is being ran in city jail, they're getting everybody that comes in city jail on methadone. I'm talking about 19-year-old kids, 20-year-old kids. They never had methadone a day in their life, and they're giving it to them in jail. And I think that's a little preposterous. You're making... And then, they, then they're like, okay, look, here. Here's a paper. Go to a methadone clinic when you get out. This All this person was doing before he went to a methadone program was eating perks once in a while. Now he's hooked on methadone because going to jail. 
And do you think that's a little bit ridiculous or what? That's because all these people and all these, I'm not going to say politicians, I guess politicians, Republican people that have money want more money. Now, what the people that don't have no money have to do is get smarter and wiser. Because when you are homeless and you find a way to live and you find a way to survive, you become really, really, really freaking intelligent. I have became really freaking intelligent just from being homeless. And now that I'm, you know, kind of opening my third eye or whatever you want to call it, it is making me see things much more clearer. It's like I'm seeing things as if it is a computer program and I can change it if I want. And these these it's just it's sad that you see these people getting all methadone and suboxone and they do not know what they're getting themselves into. I got into it when I was twenty years old. I will tell somebody, yeah, the better thing to do is to get on suboxone. You know why? Only because it's cheaper. And that's the only reason that you want to get on suboxone is because it's cheaper. That's it. Now